So let's talk about some formula auditing tools because we want to make sure formulas work. If they don't, it could potentially cost you or the company a lot of money. So one thing to note when you do these formulas, it's going to color code cells so you can see where the information is being pulled and you can make sure that it's pulling the correct information. So for example, if I did that um, for the next cell, you can see it moved everything over appropriately and locked everything as it should have. So if we go to the formula tab, we have a lot of different formula auditing. We've already talked about precedence and dependence. You can trace those and remove those uh, by clicking on respective cells. So recall we did that in an earlier where we trace the precedence, trace the dependence, and then I can remove those arrows. Um, another thing we can do is uh, typically Excel will do some background error checking unless uh, you have removed it. And you can see there's none of those issues that populated here. But if there was something going on like a number stored as text or some issue, it would alert you. Um, the next thing I want to do is set up something called watch and evaluate formula. So what we're going to do is we're going to select E31. And we're going to click on the watch window. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a watch. And we're going to keep it with the E31. That's good. So we'll click Add. So now a watch has been set up. Okay, um, so for instance, uh, what I can do kind of paired with that is uh, we're going to click Evaluate Formula, and this will kind of show you, it starts off in E30 looking to see what's going on. And then I can create, I can click evaluate, and then I'll put the number in. If I don't like it, then I can step into the formula and potentially change it as necessary. I can also step out and then keep on evaluating it. That's also very similar to F9 that I can't show because F9 is tied to the recording uh, software. Um, but you can see it will evaluate at each piece and then you can restart it and change it accordingly, et cetera, if you step in. Or you can say, oh, that didn't do what I want it to do, et cetera. So the other thing, like you can use this, for example, if I change any cash balance to, let's say, 25000 then you can see that the numbers change appropriately, and then I'll go ahead and undo that. But this watch window tells me what the values are. So there it currently is at 13.8. And then if I did 25,000, you can see the value change, etc.